these tests are gonna blow your mind. Did you know that Tesla's full self-driving is already in Europe? We built this 10-part obstacle course with real humans, animals, and even children to see if Tesla's autopilot can navigate all of these dangers on its own. We'll focus on multiple autonomous modes starting with Actually Smart Summon, which passes our first test with flying colors, successfully recognizing and dodging our boxy representations of a little girl with her cat playing on the parking lot. Actually Smart Summon swiftly decides to go all the way around, expertly navigating this parking lot using FSD technology, but then it reaches the second test. An unavoidable speed bump is in the way and this time it can't just drive around it. You can feel it being cautious just like a little child exploring the world. Once the front wheels are over the speed bump, the confidence increases and our robo-taxi is ready to roll and take on the world for just six meters, of course. Then the European Union steps in to protect us and stops the car immediately, for which we're grateful. Since it's not safe to leave your children unattended, we bring the girl and her cat back for another test, this time increasing the odds by fooling the Tesla and hiding the cat outside of camera view. Only the new 2025 Tesla Model Y Juniper, the Cybertruck and the Cybercab have a front bumper camera that could see the poor animal, but for this old Model 3 it's completely invisible. I think it's really important to only use an artificial cat for this test specifically, since we want to ensure that no animals are harmed during this video. For such a careful consideration, I think we deserve a thumbs up from you before we proceed with the next test. Uh, okay, there it is. Thank you very much. Even though our robotaxi literally can't see the cat, it refuses to move a single inch forward, only turning the steering wheel and flashing the turn signals. It's possible that it senses an obstacle with its legacy ultrasonic sensors, but that should be displayed on the screen as demonstrated when the adult human steps in. When he steps away instead and reinitiates actually smart summon after moving the cat even closer, all ultrasonic indicators disappear. But the car still refuses to go forward, passing another hardcore safety test. We strategically reposition both the child and her pet in an attempt to confuse and perhaps even ethically challenge the white robot, and it briefly considers trying to squeeze in the gap that's available between them. that it changes its mind and carefully backs up, remembering how unpredictable biological life can be, and choosing the more conservative approach of squeezing by on the left, where there's barely any space available. I'm just kidding, of course, so stop typing up that comment saying that another European car or two could fit in this gap. Since Autopilot refuses to run over a stationary meat bag, we naturally have to escalate by throwing the innocent miner under the bus. And even before the child hits the ground, actually Smart Summon slams on the brakes proving its bulletproof safety profile worthy of approval by the European Union, of course. In another, much more complex and dynamic test, we only leave the gap in between the two biological systems open and the Tesla creeps a little bit closer and then hesitates a lot. Only when the human reassures it by standing next to the little girl, it gets a little bit closer again, but then, traumatized by all the tests it had to endure so far, it refuses to go anywhere. And only after we remove the girl from its path altogether, it hesitantly displays the blue tentacle in front of the car again, but only continues down the planned path once we remove the cat as well. Then it stops and hesitates again, probably thinking that the girl wants to cross the road, so we have to pull her a little bit back. And after it launches forward, we make the test much more dynamic by throwing the girl under the bus again, and Tesla unmistakably stops once more. 
As you can clearly see demonstrated in this video, by now we have unmistakably proven that Tesla will not, under any circumstances, hit a stationary child lying in front of you. Poor girl, I guess she'll just have to walk it off. And now at least we have a proof that adding that front bumper camera to the new Model Y Juniper was a really good idea. And not just for parking, but for autonomous robotic shenanigans as well. <laughs> we carefully proceed with our scientific endeavors, and this time we put the cat right up to this car's cameras. The Tesla mistakes the cat for a car standing in front of it, but the resulting behavior is caution so we can let it slip. And once we remove the cat, the visualized car goes poof as well. Before the car pops into view again, Tesla virtually rams it and turns it into a truck instead, obliterating the digital vehicle and finishing its confusing ride. Now we'll let the human drive and test if the active emergency braking will stop him from hitting the girl first at low speed, which it didn't, and then at a little bit higher speed. Sadly, in both of these tests the car fails, proving that robots should be the ones driving and not humans. Which of course also applies to parking, which is why Auto Park is the subject of our next test. What's positive is that Auto Park doesn't even show the parking spot that is blocked by the little girl as an option, but nicely parks with no issues at all in the spot right next to it. It is showing both the girl and the dynamic adult human cameraman on the bird's eye view at all times, and when he steps into the parking spot, the car cautiously stops for a while before proceeding once it's clear. And that is a parking job really nicely done, despite having two obstacles, one static and one dynamic, in the way while parking. Let's see if we can actually get into that blocked parking spot, or at least select it on the screen. And you can see right now, there's just no chance. And even the spots that I am walking through with the camera are temporarily unselectable before the driver actually manages to select one of them, but then when he tries to park, the car sets itself up for a little while, but then freaks out big time. We can speculate the reason for this freak out, but it was either the box or the cameraman. One of those probably didn't really sit right with the car and it decided to be cautious instead and let the driver decide what to do next. Now, auto park videos are the most popular videos on this channel, so I really hope you appreciate this one as well with all the dynamic obstacles, even though these are not the usual tight spaces from our other videos. Be sure to check them out as well. Now, as the Tesla starts backing up into its chosen parking spot, the cameraman intentionally walks in the same direction and the car takes it into account and is super, super cautious. And only once he clears the parking spot and goes the opposite way, the car resumes on its trajectory and finishes the parking job. This was just perfect. Jokes aside, a real sign of intelligence. Now let's see what happens when a child blocks a parked car from unparking using both the dumb and the actually smart summon. As you can see, as we try to initiate actually smart summon, the car once again refuses to continue on its path after just a few inches. Judging that the child is an unavoidable obstacle. And even after kicking it down and a little bit further from the car, it doesn't make things any better for us. So I try to back the car up using the dump summon and then go back forward to see if it's going to go any further than it did the last time. 
And it looks like we underestimated the Tesla because it's actually so cautious that it even refuses to just return to the same spot that it has been before and stops a little bit further back. Furthermore, that was the dumb summon and now I'm going to try the smart summon which doesn't go any further either and just cautiously puts on the hazard lights. It's only when we back up much further from the box or girl that actually smart summon is brave enough to back up a little bit, do a three point turn and then escape the situation as quickly as possible, accelerating to a record 10 kilometers per hour, which is the fastest I've seen the system go so far. Our last and most dynamic tests features an adult human unexpectedly jumping in front of the car. Obviously, we're only testing this at the lowest speeds. And much more obviously, actually Smart Summon is super safe regarding this hazardous behavior. I should also clarify that the actually smart summon button is being pressed the whole time so the car is the one who's deciding when to go and when to stop. Once it sees any suspicious pedestrians around it, it doesn't go much faster than just two or three kilometers per hour and it's only when I step back and don't look so suspicious and dangerous anymore that it catches up to its regular speeds. Even the blue tentacle shrinks and disappears for a while when I jog in front of the car and when I try to psychologically trick it by turning the opposite way and it starts to go, it then immediately stops when I turn back. Once again showing that it's super safe and cautious around any pedestrians. <laughs> Proč ten mobil nedělá co chceš? Co jsi tam bude terorista, chci ho přejet, vole, to přejede. Vůbec to neposlouchá pána vozu. And that also applies when I stand not in front of the car, but right next to it. On the other hand, when I'm already behind, then it confidently accelerates. But can the Tesla AI handle even more dynamic tests with actual pedestrians and live traffic inside the busiest parking lot in all of Europe? Check out this video next to find out. I can promise you that it's far crazier and more extreme, but also much more informative than the one you've just finished watching. So go ahead and click right now to watch the next video.